different shades and colors, different strokes for different folks. Love comes in different shades and colors, different strokes for different folks. Like red rose flowers, the colors for true romance and love. Take care of himself. He's a big boy. Eh? You don't even go to the same school and uh, you, you can't. You, you see yourself? Eh? See your nice, senseless girl. Don't you know your position? Or oh, how many times will I draw me to this girl? Senseless head that are the first child. She's the responsibility to take care of your younger ones. How many times? Mama, please, I'm calling is not even ready. Get inside now and get your brother ready. I take him to school. But Mama, I... for Pooh's result. You know Queen's Pathfinders must play draw at away. But my husband is at home waiting for me to come and cook his evening meal. You don't know how lucky you are. I don't have a wife. You don't have a friend. Nobody will give me warm water bath. Nobody. I am sure that if you get some, somebody will be waiting for you to give you a warm bath. I want to close. Okay, let's close now. Just give me one more bottle for the room. Just one more. Ah. Then we can close, then we go. No problem. Not only one bottle. I have one cake here for you. A cake for me? Finish it. My daughter will come and tidy up this place. You are a nice woman, the type of woman I should marry. Mm. I'll marry you tomorrow. Tomorrow, eh? Uh. Adam Bele Kirikete. Adam Kuru Merungede. Bring Merungede. Ubridi. Keg! You will know who I am today. I will finish this bottle and I will finish you. Wait for me. Give my daughter. You know I love you. Forget the way I scolded you. You see, you are no longer a child. Many girls your age are married with children. Hmm? At your age, if you cannot take care of your younger brother and sister, we do it for you. As a fourth child, you are the mother of the house. It is your responsibility to see that your younger ones never lack. Do you understand? Yes, That's my girl. A woman is a home builder. The responsibility of the entire home falls on our shoulders. You cannot do those things I teach you by running around the village with good for nothing girls when you have things to do at home. Mama, I don't run around the village with girls. When I'm not at school, I'm sewing in the shop. That is what a good and responsible child, child should do. Anyway, by the way, what are you men still doing outside by this time of the night? Question one. 
Papa, we're waiting for you. No, 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 no. Women should not be seen outside by this time of the night. Only brave men like us and the spirits parade the nights. Huh? No, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Good woman. Now, where's my food? I'm Yes, very good. Good man, huh? <laughs> Save that man. My dear, please, eh? Lock up the shop when you finish. You will meet me at home. Eh? My good girl, let me rush down. Thirty-two forty-one for us nap. Hey, hey, boom in the corner. Eighteen twenty-two, thirty-two forty-one forty-two. Ten, three, four, from four at five naira. It was one naira staked. <laughs> Kora na. <laughs> Kora is gone. Now if we nap this and end this, something wrong may happen there. Yes, oh, 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 Ten, three, four, from four. Nobody is this at five naira. Yes, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Where's your car? What is the matter? What, what, what is it? Uh, Let me concentrate. You are here. No, I'm not here. I'm there. What is it? Your wife. She traveled on it at this point. What I is it? She traveled on it. Uh -huh. Papa gift. The Aveco. Uh -huh. What the is it? What is the Aveco? The Aveco fell inside the river. Ah! Oh. I see! Papa gift. Ah! You don't die! No, no, no. My mother. Susan! 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 Lara! My mother! My mother!
love you. Forget the way I scolded you. You see, you are no longer a child. Many girls your age are married with children. Hmm? At your age, if you cannot take care of your younger brother and sister, we do it for you. As a fourth child who has the mother of the house, it is your responsibility to see that your younger ones never lack. The woman is a home builder. The responsibility of the entire home falls on her shoulder. You cannot do those things I teach you by running around the village with good for nothing girls when you have things to do. wait for you yesterday and I waited to leave before I close. I'm very very sorry. I'm sorry. I had an urgent call so I thank you. Mm. Uh, is my toast ready? Uh, it's ready. Let me get it. Let me have it tomorrow. Do you have uh, the balance here? The balance? Yeah. How much is the balance? Uh-huh. 259. <laughs> <laughs> Sister prepared for lunch. <laughs> Did she ask me before she prepared it? Huh? Where is she now? She's in the shop. Call her for me. Come, 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 come. Take this nonsense out for me. Take it up, take it up. And call her for me. To serve you. what? Eh? Is there no other food in this house? But there's yam. Uh -huh. Then why did you prepare Ebra for me instead of yam? I was planning that we eat yam for dinner. Planning? Okay, was that how your mother was planning when she was alive? Eh? Was that how she taught you? Oh, so because my wife is dead now, you want to lord it over me. Come on, get into the kitchen and prepare yam for me, my friend. Uh, I'm planning to prepare. If I catch, look, my friend. Good afternoon, sir. Uh huh. What is it again? See her. Go and tell her that I'll see her. In she said you should see her as soon as you go to That is very, very important. You see her before you go. Home. My friend, are you deaf? Go and. Okay, I see. 
Today is 27th, huh? Yes, sir. Very good. Your mother is sending all these useless messages because she knows that today is her pay day. Eh? That they will pay her salaries today. Go and tell her that I will see her later at my own convenience. Now, out. I said, go! Here. Yeah. There. Julie. Run. Get out. I have been warning you. One of these days, I will cut your ear with my scissors. Mm, that will be the day. The day that what? The day I've been waiting for, of course. Patrick. You have no choice but to marry him now with one ear. Cut for it. Definitely, you have gone mad. Yes. I agree with you completely. I have gone mad. And, and it's all because of you. <coughs> okay, Patrick. Please come back. As you can see, I'm very busy. Eh? Come back later. <laughs> What is the problem? You have been on this matter for too long now. That is because I don't like you, Patrick. I don't like you. Eh? I don't like you. In fact, Patrick, I hate you. How many times will I tell you? Why can't you get into your head? Patrick, one of these is I will shout, though. I will shout it for your head, and they will burn you in the at the matter. You can't do that, Jordi. I can't do it. Can't do can't do it. Can't do try that. me. Patrick, try me. Try me. Uh -uh, what is it? Uh -uh, all the boys in this village, have gone to the city. Everybody looking for something meaningful to do with their lives. Only you. You, you are running about the whole village looking for women. Women, women. Ha uh ha! -uh. Are you a fool? Chineke, give it. You are calling me a fool. I don't blame you. I gave the opportunity to insult me. I don't blame you. If you ever see me in this shop again, eh? Call me a bastard. 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 That is what you are because I know you still come back. Bastard. You are a bastard. That is what you are. Bastard, come back again. I don't like boys. Live by boys. Come back. I love you too, John. But I can't cope. I can't cope, John. Deep, why? Deep, why are you doing all those things? Why is it that I don't see you like I used to see you anymore? Each time you complain, you have no time. That's because I have no time. John, since my mother died, the responsibility of motherhood has fallen on me. You know I've dropped out of school just so that I can face my mother's business and the family. They are my concerns for now. So, so what about us? What about me? I can't help John. What are you saying? I want to face my family. At least for now. Gift. When your father is still alive, he should be responsible for you. You don't understand. It's, it's a woman's job to shape and build a home. That's what my mother taught me. Yeah, what your mother taught you is absolutely right. But you only shape and build your own home. Our own home. And that starts from now. You, you and I. Gift. I love you. I love you too, John. I can't cope. John, I can't. I can't. You, you can't be serious. John. My father is a drunk. He has failed us. He has failed in his duties as a father. 
I am the only one my brother and sisters rely on now. I cannot afford to fail them. So you think for that reason you walk yourself to death? Give listen. You have your life to live. They are my life now. My children. Just listen to yourself. They're your children, you said. Yes, they are my children. My mother handed them over to me before she died. You hurt me. Is it money again? Eh? Every time, money, 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 money. I don't have one. I'm telling you, I have no money. You are aware that the government has not paid us salaries for many months. I don't have one. I don't have. Papa, business is not moving well in the shop. Oh. Business is slow. Papa, and when I finish paying uh, Collins and, and uh, Susan's money, I, I don't have anything left. I don't even oh. have enough to pay for Laura's school fees. Oh. Papa, you have, to, you have to support me. Oh. <laughs> support you? Come, 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 come. Let's not worry. Look at me very well. You know me as your father. Do I resemble the devil? Am I a devil? I say I don't have. If I had, I would have given to you. I don't have. How are we going to do Laura's school fees now? Laura's school fees? Mm, school fees of Laura, eh? Laura, Laura. Ah, ah, very simple, huh? You just borrow me some money. They want to have the money, I pay you back. Very simple. So that has been settled. You can go and sleep. Okay, Papa, I have something else to discuss with you. What is it, woman? Does it have anything to do with me spending money? Papa, it doesn't have anything to do with money. All right. Go ahead. Papa, I want, I want to move over to Lagos. Where do? Lagos. <laughs> Lagos. Ah, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So that is something else you want to discuss with me. Eh? You want to run away. Then you leave the decision for me to cater for. Pfft. You are not going to any uh you won't be the gen. Mom can't have a lie. Papa, I am not ah. running away. I'm not running away. Papa, I want to go to Lagos so I can I can go and do something with my life. I so I can go and work and make money and, and send them to school. To, to invest in. Papa, they are getting older. Oh. They are getting older. Eh? Lagos, oh. From what I heard from people, oh, Lagos is not a good place. So. Ah, ah, once you get there now, you forget your family. In fact, you'll be carried away with city pleasure. Lagos. I can't get carried away, Papa. I can't get carried away. Huh? When I remember what I left behind me, I just want to go to Lagos so I can make some money. Then I'll be able to help her and send them to the university. Eh? When I get to Lagos, I'll, I'll, I'll send for them to come and stay with me. <laughs> but uh, what do you know about Lagos? Hmm? I want to go with Neka. Neka, she has been staying in Lagos for some time now. What will you be doing? Papa Neka said this sewing business is making a lot of money in Lagos. So. Ah, she said that if I come to Lagos now, in no time I'll make plenty of money. That is what she told me. Neka, who could not, who could not afford to buy me small drink? Say she's making money in Lagos. Papa, Neka doesn't buy drink for people. Lagos, so... Otokatu Ulu, take and swallow, Lagos. Bermuda Triangle, shim. Lagos. What? Seems to me as if you have made up your mind. I don't have money to support your adventure, but her prayers to give to you free. Eh? So, my daughter, yeah, you can go. It shall be well with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Papa, mm. thank you. Mm -hmm. You have enough time for money, eh? Uh, ah, you can go. You go. Go. <laughs> go. 
Soldiers, and you're asking me such stupid questions. Liar. Well, okay, where's the one that I'm? Sir, we're going to go to the market. So, whenever nothing happens, it's number eight above bar. I'm still waiting. You begin to see. Now, look at Tottenham Hotspur at number 16. Yes, yes, yes. Eh? Yes. Then, this bar in Premiership League, once it crosses the bar again, what is it? A draw. So, Tottenham is your key. But once you get Tottenham, you are home and Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tottenham, that's your key. Ah. Give her a time to prepare me very beautiful Tottenham hot spot. Eh? Hot what? Oh, beautiful um, vegetable soup with um, curry. Yeah, huh? I tell her to keep um, a keg of wine for me, all right? Thank okay. you. Hey, come, come. Tell her I'm not coming to the shop. I'm coming home. Okay. I'm going to the shop. You are stupid. I'll come and do this first. Now, you've noticed something. Yes. When these two games go at par, you may win, you may lose. But if you lose, don't blame me because yeah, yeah. people lose often. But this 29 to pump that. Ah, okay, I mean, I mean, this, this, this. I'm not going to kill yourself for your family back home, are you? Richard, please, don't talk like that. You know I don't like it. Excuse me. We have our lives to live. You cannot live your entire life for your family back home. Please, please, don't start. Please, not now. Drop you off at the park. Richard. Richard, please. Please, I really need you to understand. You know it's my responsibility to do. I don't have a choice. Huh? You know if my mother were... Oh, Anna. please, please. I'll drop you off at the park, please.
Times are very hard for us back home. I need plenty of money to start the shop you opened for me again. Eh? Business was so bad, I had to close the shop. Eh? And the responsibility of my new wife does not help matters. My dear beautiful daughter, I truly need plenty of money from you. If not, your father will die of hunger. If I was still working, things would have been different. But you are the one who asked me to leave my job as school gate man. Now I am at your mercy. Come and rescue me. I am waiting for you. What did Papa do with the money he realized from the shop I opened for him? Sister, you're asking. He married Victoria and inherited her four children from her late husband. Plus another new baby. Five mouths to feed. Sister, you know Papa drinks a lot. He's also into pool betting. He has almost drank Victoria's palm wine bar down. So Papa closed that beautiful big shop I opened for him. Eh? No, why would he closed it. When he has a thousand and one mouths to feed. Hmm. All right, um... Susan and Nora also gave letters to you. Hey, Jerry, let me be No, Nora just passed her down. And she's entering university this year. Hey! That's my girl! I knew that girl had the mind stuff. Uh, she's just like me. Uh, ah, she's just like me. Uh, I think that one. She's like me. She's like me. Uh, mm, let me read my girl's letter. Uh, sister, me too. I need some more. Don't worry, because I know that every time. Who is my friend? Yeah. What is that? Uh, I will start to you call this. Wait, wait, wait. Hey! My girl has entered university. Because very soon this place will be too small for you. Collins, I, I don't think so. Because I'm, I'm quite comfortable here. You know, this place is quite big. You know, the landlord here is very nice. So I'm, I'm quite comfortable. But that reminds me. Where did you say um, you're going to be posted for your yourselves? Ah, uh, they've not posted us, though. But anyway, they post me, I'll go out. Ah, Collins, you lie. Mm -hmm. You lie. You're going to do your youth service here in Lagos. If you go out of Lagos, who's going to be taking care of you? Hey, well, still, we've talked about this several times now, eh? I'm a larger boy now. Larger boy, my foot. So that you can get wild on me, Abby. Uh -huh, no. You're going to be right here in Lagos. Please, uh, you just have to accept the fact that we're no longer kids. Eh? Okay, you can. <coughs> Soon I'll graduate. Susan is in her second year, mm -hmm. about to enter her third year. Mm. Laura is just, I mean, just got admission to the university. Mm. Uh, just, just accept the fact that we're going to be a You are still my kids. <laughs> Collins, you will still be kids to me as long as I'm alive. Uh, that just stresses the points that I really need to get out of the apartment. You still be finishing your research, I'm sorry. Uh, I will be living in a bigger apartment. How are you? Fine. You're not ready. Oh, come on, Gibbs. Don't tell me you forgot. Oh. We're supposed to go and see the premiere of the new film coming soon. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Look, my younger brother just came in this morning. We have to catch up on home matters. Oh, this is one of those your children you always talk about? Yes. His name is... Collins. Yeah. I thought you were still a very little boy the way your sister talked about you. Collins, 
He's such a big boy. <laughs> Richard, what was all that about the king? It's another bad time, isn't it? Were you trying to embarrass me in front of my kid? Of course not. I... I'm sorry. Are we still... <laughs> no, <laughs> don't tell me I know. <sighs> Good night. <laughs> Something more important. How much exactly did Papa say? You're having a relationship with as much important as what? Look, that's enough, Colin. You know, you and I are not going to be talking about this kind of issue. Is that clear? Yes, I am. They should not be angry with me. Eh? That as soon as I settle down properly, that I will send for them. Okay. Eh? Then Collins, you too. This one I are going to school. Eh? Don't go and join gangs. Oh. Eh -eh. Don't go and join gangs. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. Whether it's a, uh, what do people call it, a uh, courtesy. Don't go and join. No. Eh? Collins, this one that you're laughing like this. No. Eh? This one that you start wearing cap now, black cap like Papa. <laughs> <laughs> don't go and start drinking, no, Collins. Sister, I'm not like that. What do you mean? I don't like that. What do you mean? Uh, when all these babes start uh, phrasing for now, you start feeling like King Kong. <laughs> eh? Go and say, come on, give me a hug. Come on. Take care of yourself. Eh? I'll make sure you write me up. We're expecting your letters. Eh? No. Yeah, let me see you to the park. Oh. I have. I have. Make sure you write me up. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you will not leave this house. You must leave this house. Look at you. Look at your useless mother. That's what I are talking to. My mother. Yeah, you're not. You're not. Please don't be angry. I beg you. And then Bola, 
both of you, you will make sure that the dress is ready for seven o'clock tomorrow. Before tomorrow, before tomorrow, you are smiling now. By the time I come and tell me that the thing is not ready yet. Eh, Neka, I hope I'm not taking you with me. No, 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 I just came with Neka, there is trouble in my house. Big trouble. Did someone die? God forbid. It is Laura and Susan. They say they beat up my father's wife. And the man is threatening to kill himself. The both of them don't pack out. Is that why you're busking here? I see them. Rapture are taking place. But you know now. You know if anything happens to my brother and sisters, I can kill myself. <laughs> Gift. Are you sure you're not dead already? <laughs> Take this easy now. You're not the only first one in this world, though. Um, Neka, we'll discuss all these matters when I come down. I have to quickly go to the airport. I have to go to the airport. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I came to see you about Richard. You came, to, yes, you came to my house and it was full of complaints about you. It is this same attitude of yours, having something important and urgent to do back home that you complain about. Eh, eh, I beg. We'll discuss this when I come back. We'll discuss when I come back. I beg. Don't, don't be angry. I'm really sorry. Please, can you come and take me to the airport? I'm almost present. Okay, I'm, I'm almost Okay, okay let's go. Thank you very much. Maybe we should make sure you don't have Madam Sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't I don't know what happened to this girl. But Papa... No, no, don't tell me that. I'm, I'm serious. I'm not joking. In fact, you're even lucky. I had plans to kill myself this night. <laughs> Papa, if you kill yourself, who will give you more trouble now? I don't care. I'm telling you. Honestly. Look, don't, if I want to die, that's why I want to die. Papa, you cannot die. Ha, imagine. I swear to you, if Laura and Susan stay with me in this house under on one roof, hey, I will hang myself. I will just hang myself. Enough is enough. I will hang myself. Papa, it's okay. I, I, I said I'll, I'll handle the situation. I'll take her to, to Lagos tomorrow. You'll tell her to Lagos? I'll take her. Case closed. When? Tomorrow morning now, as I'm leaving tomorrow what morning. What time? Tomorrow morning. Which boss? Boss? Papa, what? I don't know which boss I'll be traveling with, though. I don't, I don't know. But tomorrow morning, as I'm leaving, I'll, I'll go with them. I already told you, I'll go with them. I'll go with them. It's about time. I'll go with them. Okay. I'll settle the case. Um. I hope um, you brought some money for me because I have a lot of responsibilities now. I'm the chairman of our elders forum in the office, even at home. As usual, I know. So, you can go and speak her. <laughs> Papa! Uh, uh, Papa, she has no other problem. No, 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 no. Uh, apart from money, nothing yet. But maybe by next week, no, I, I'll, I'll, I'll send for you again for some more money next week. Papa, no, I can't come. I'll send the money down. Okay, the, 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 the same down. thing. Let me go and speak. There's no other problem. No, 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 no. Okay. God bless you, eh? Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. For God's sake! My younger ones are around. You want me to sleep out? I cannot sleep out! What example would I be laying for my younger ones? That it's okay to sleep out before marriage? Listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. Richard, my younger ones need care. Who cares for me? No, don't tell me. I know. I care for myself. Tell me, am I the one? 
book. That, that we actually went into the... What? Greg's taking me to the beach for a picnic. Oh, okay. I have a problem with that. Except for the fact that, Greg, you have to promise me you bring her back. The oh, four, six. sorry. I will. Can you guys have fun then? So you know when I'm back. I'll back soon. Okay, sure. And Greg, you want to talk behind us, right? Mm -hmm. Guess what? This girl is meeting come. Oh my god! This girl is so beautiful. She's, the, she's everything a man would wish to have and protect with his life. Brother, I'm calling. <laughs> Maybe the way you're talking as if you just met an angel. How did you know? She's an angel, sister. You need to see this girl. Then marry her now. I will marry her. I will. Sister, honest. Yes, I need to marry this girl. We wish you luck, Olive. We wish you luck. Oh, I need to hey, love. I need Miss, to I have something to tell sister. I have Greg proposed to me. He wants me to marry him, and so that he gave me this. Huh? Wow. What did you tell him? Yes, of course. If I had said no, would I be wearing this? You told him yes. You're not going to marry him now, are you? But sister, he wants us to get married as soon as possible now. Susan, you're so young, and you're still in school. He doesn't mind my being in school. Sister, he has a good job. I am so happy, sister. Please, sister, be happy for me. Please. Susan, I'm very concerned about you. I can take care of myself and him. After all, you were much younger than I am now when you started taking care of us. Sister, please, wish me luck, please. Good luck, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm happy for you. Thank you, sister. I'm happy for you, too. Sister, <laughs> sister, sister, please. I'm going to be your chief bridesmaid. Of course you'll be my chief bridesmaid. <laughs> okay, now that there's so much happiness around, can somebody get us a bottle or bottles or... Yes, I can do that. Oh, I know you will do that. I will do that. <laughs> so what do I get for you? Go. Don't you think that Susan is too young to get married now? <laughs> Give. I hear you. Anyway, please make sure they finish my dress today because I'll be wearing it tomorrow. No problem. Also, you, you don't you don't think that that question is an answer? None that I, I can think of. Okay, send me well to your husband and beautiful children. I will, I Thank will. you very much for I will. my life. <laughs> I'll see you. Okay, now take care. Sending Victoria's children to come and stay with you. Eh, Papa, Papa, no, 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 now, please, no, now. Huh? Let's 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 finish with Susan's wedding first. Though. It's okay now. We are not quarrelling, eh? Ah, give him um. Eh, eh, I'm not in my daughter. You know when Okunot is getting tired, the water inside starts coming down. So I'm going to show him how you want to marry. Ah, give him not as long as marriage is going to be done. You said you won't Papa, it's not as if uh, there's no money, but I've been very busy trying to get this. Oh, let's go. 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 let us how could you? How could you get that girl pregnant? What is wrong with you? For Christ's sake, you're not my kid! Thank God, sister, you just said it. I'm not a kid. I want to marry her. 
And we need a place of our own. God means. That girl is too young to take care of you, Collins. Sister, she's going to be my wife. We are no longer kids. Eh? We are old enough to take care of ourselves. Look, Collins, I don't have any problems with the both of you moving in here. You can take a room, anything, anything, really. But let me be responsible for the both of you, especially now that she's pregnant. That girl needs care. Sister, am I going to live the rest of my life with you? Eh? Allow me to move on now. Please. Will you raise the money for me? Collins, why the hurry? Tell me, why the haste? Her parents are anxious. And besides, I'm old enough to start my own family. I'm 28, for goodness sake. Collins, you have not even finished your youth service yet. Okay. Let me be responsible for you at least until you get yourself a good job. So, I mean, I need to. I have to be responsible for my wife and my own baby. Um, sister, one more thing. What? Please, I want you to follow me to go and see her mother. She wants to meet you. You know, before Papa and the rest of the family will know how family. No, I, I thought it would be up to five months before I could start. Five months? No, you start antenatal as soon as you confirm that you are pregnant. Eh? You see? You see what I've been saying? This is what I meant when I said both of you should move in here. Move in here with me, eh? So that I can take care of her.
He no wants to get married, to start having children of our own. And you know I'm still responsible for my younger one. Sweet. What are you saying? Chill. Please just give me a little time. Just a little bit to get to my younger one. Just a little bit. I don't understand sister at all. I don't understand why she should take responsibility of Victoria's children. I don't understand why. Papa is not even helping matters. Have you thought about that? Every little thing she, he, he rushes down to Lagos. Any little thing. Collins, who do you blame? Who? Is it Papa who is drinking away his life in the village? Or sister who will not think of herself and how to settle down and face her own family? Eh? Collins, we all agree she sacrificed a lot for us. But it is high time she sits down, think about herself and how to settle down and face her own family yeah. instead of turning her whole attention on Victoria's children. This is not fair! Do you know I met sister's boyfriend one day? One very nice looking guy. But the relationship didn't work because all because of this same family problem that she carries on her head. Eh? I even heard the guy is even married now. Married? The guy is married now. Look at it now. Oh. Everyone around sister is married except her. Collins, tell me. What is sister waiting for? What? In fact, I think it's high time I sit down and talk to her. Eh? We all need to sit her down and talk to her. Collins, I'm not going with you because I know she will not listen. She will not listen. So it doesn't... There's no need. There's no need at all. But Susan, if it's because of us that she was doing all those things... I mean, right now I am married. You, you are married. Mm -hmm. uh, Laura is married too. So I don't know the reason she has not to, not, not to get married. Eh? Laura is around. Hi. Hello, how are you? Uh, you came around to see her. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell me you are leaving. <laughs> I'm on my way. Uh, uh, I'm just coming back from the market. Now, why don't you wait and eat? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. came back from the market to cook for your own husband. I am going home to cook for my own husband. Uh -huh. At least I am married. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll see you some other time, I promise. Okay, I release you for today. <laughs> <laughs> so, Carlis, huh? make sure you talk to Sister. Even for one day. One day, Neka, one day. 
he would have done the same thing if you were married to Richard. I even heard he's married. I heard he's married to him. Hey, 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 tell me, who was that man that I saw with um, Laura driving him today? Make a film. Laura brought him up that she wouldn't stop her Okay. She knows what she wants. Huh? She, uh, take ice cream from her. She has not even finished her uh, uh, un university education yet. But Susan De Oyami, your sister got married even while still at the university. Maybe she wants to follow her footsteps. Look, look, look. Uh, uh, Susan got married to Eddie. You don't want her to get married. Eh? Do you want her to be like you? Oh, you want her to reach menopause before she gets married, Abby? Neka, what kind of talk is that? Gift. Gift. Listen, we are childhood friends. Hmm? We have come a very long way. All these things you're doing for your family, you're doing the right thing. But you've gone too far to your own detriment. <laughs> anyway, look, me, I have to go and pick my children. I'll see you later. What do I do to this place? Hmm? Yes, I said. Come and carry it on my head. Put it on my head. Come and put it on my head. Don't girl, you don't know how to do anything. But it's not as if uh, there's no money. But I've been very busy trying to get oh, it. Oh, okay. Do you love me? Of course I love you. No, you don't. You don't even love yourself. You don't care about yourself. You're a sleep gift. You're in a deep sleep. You may better wake up before it's too late. Excuse me. You are his problem. Hmm? What do you want him to understand? Gift. Look at you. You're preparing seriously for your younger sister's wedding. Your kid sister. What about you? Won't you get married? You are supposed to be my fiance. Am I the one who has suddenly forgotten his got life to live? Gift, tell me, am I the one? Gift, how old are you? Why? I wish you well. Have a wonderful time with your brother, your sisters, your father.
on you. It's just that I didn't know how best to make you face reality. Neka, I am not angry. Really, I am not angry. Bola! Ma, take that thing inside. Take it inside! Tata fo. You're waiting for the one you will say. This girl. Hey, hey, Neka, like I was saying, you see your insult actually opened my eyes. I am not angry. Oh, hello, ladies. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Oh, yes. Uh, yes, you, you, you can. See, I have this fabric here, and I, I want to make some simple tops, you see? I was wondering if you make male clothes here. Yes, we do. Oh, <laughs> then I'm in the right place. Um, um, uh, uh, I have to run along, though. Okay. I'll see you later in the evening. All right, I'll be waiting. Um, this, this fabric, is it actually for you? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Bright color, I dare say. Yes, look, I love bright colors. They make me feel really safe. <laughs> I see. Would you please move over there for your measurement? Um, um, but, um, how much does it cost for you to make simple top? About, um, a thousand five hundred. Wow, I think that's on the high side, I mean. A thousand five hundred now? <laughs> By the time I'm through with the stops, I'm sure you'll be coming by asking to take me to the beach. Oh, no, no, no. I'd rather take you out for dinner. In. Get you, you know, out of this hustle and bustle of the day. Thank you very Goodbye. much. Please. I, I, no, no, no. Look, I'm really serious about that taking you out for dinner. I'm really, really very serious about it. Oh, anyhow. for me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you really have a nice place here. Uh, thank you. I hope you'll bring um, some of your friends here. Yeah. A thousand and one of them. No, no, no. A thousand and five. Just for you. <laughs> so, so, so. Who's taking the measurement? Me, sir. Okay. You remember that guy? Who's mm -hmm. funny guy like that? I brought uh, close to my shop that should make tops for me. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all was. Yes, yes, I do. Yes. Neka, the guy has been stopping me. What does he want? Haven't you made his clothes? Mm -hmm. I've made his clothes. Too. The guy said I promised to go on a dinner date with him. Did you promise? Eh, hey, I thought he was joking. <laughs> Gift. You already promised him now. Huh? And the guy, I think the guy likes you. Why don't you give him a chance? Hey, I think the funniest aspect is each time he comes, he brings a present along with him. Huh. Give you a trouble. Though. The guy loves you and he's ready to spoil you, see. Hmm. Uh, listen, huh? this one, you have to be very smart about it. Hold him tight. It's nothing like first love, please. Uh, you've come again. I've been expecting this. It's not what you think, oh God. I know you started again. It's not what you think. This guy is too young now. He's a small boy. Yeah? Okay. What the? And I'm no one. No, no, you don't want No, you don't want it. No, you don't want it. Hey, hey. No, this guy. You know, guys, the way they are. Yeah, this guy. I don't want anybody to come and distract me. I have work.
by Little Paradise. Uh, I must confess, you have a lovely place here. Thank you. But don't you think it's extravagant for a single lady? Mm, I don't think so. Well, uh, I better be on my way since I'm feeling you safely home. <laughs> I'm not a parcel. And please, let me have a singular honor of um, getting you a chilled drink. Uh, now, would that be too much to ask? No, I know it wouldn't. Oh, okay. Now, let me, ah, let me get you something. And um, let me ask you, what do you take? Soft. So. Mm. You look like a hard guy to me. Oh, but I'm not. <laughs> I'll be back in just a minute. with a stranger the first time he took you out. It's not a stranger. And personally you that said I should be smart. Eh? I know, I know. But look, look, look. Despite the fact that this guy is young, I think I really like him. And he's so full of life. Hmm. One night stand. Don't make me feel sports now. No, do be. I am not trying to make you sports or something. It's just that I'm surprised at your sudden turn around. No! No! Pregnant for dinner. So, what is he saying about it? I have not seen him. I have not seen him for six weeks now. You didn't go to look for him. I don't know where he lives. You can't be serious. I am serious. I am serious. The address he gave to me when I went there. They told me where Dennis lives there. Hey, Gift, you are in a big trouble. Neka, this world is more than trouble. Hey. I am in a mess. 
I'm in a big place. If I right now I am confused. I don't know what to do. Eh? Susie, come here. Where are you going to? I want to call my sister. Go inside! Will you get inside? This one, eh? I don't know. Actually, look, I'm really very sorry. You see, I had to travel to Zurich, London, New York to do a presentation. I did not even deem it proper to drop a note that you're traveling. I just said I'm sorry. Anyhow, I'm back home now. Yeah. Dennis. Yes. I went to the address you gave me. Oh. But I was told no dead ends lives there. Um. Hey, don't know me by that name yet. You know me by my native name, Olumide. What gift? Were you checking up on me? I was looking for you. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. You know I always come back home. Dennis. Yes. I'm pregnant. <laughs> What do you mean, how? I said I'm pregnant and I am not going to have this baby outside wedlock. Uh, a gift. You are not going to force me to marry you. I, mean, I don't get this. Do you want to pin the pregnancy on me because you want me to marry you? Excuse me. I really don't know what I want from you right now. But this much I know, I am pregnant and it's definitely for you. Okay. I am definitely not seeing anyone else besides you. You see, my ears cannot for bad news this night. Gift, I'm out of here now. I'm sorry, mister. You are going nowhere. Oh, yes, I am. Now, out of my way. I am sorry, you are going I no said well. get out of I my way. Get out! Get out of my way! You think you're gonna put your frustrations on me? Idiot! going to your shop and they keep telling me that you didn't come to work. So this is what you've been going through. Okay, what happened? And they beat you up like this? Evil broke your arm. This guy is not even the angel he portrayed himself to be after all. Oh, 
talking like that. Oh, don't laugh, Christy. I just tell him nicely. I provoked him. Uh, uh, okay, l l let me just help you up. How are you going to just forgive? Don't you think this guy is too young for you? Every right to say whatever. Call me a beast, an animal. Whatever comes out of your mouth, I'll accept it. Boss, I've come to apologize. I realized I overreacted. That is not me. It's like my past, my past has been haunting me. But now I know. That I've overcome it. And it's you that I want. I'm on my knees. I'm begging you. Gift, please. Forgive me. I know I've really hurt you. But I promise I'll make you very happy. I'll worship you. I'll do I'll do whatever you want. Please, Gift. Please, just don't turn your back on me. Give me a second chance, please. Please. Thank you, sir. Yes. Promise me you'll never hit me again. I promise you. Look, I wouldn't even touch you. I won't. I would worship you. I'll, I'll take you in. I don't know how to say it, but I'm telling you right from the bottom of my heart, God, I love you. You will? Yes, sir. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. <laughs> Sit down, please, please. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ha, ha, have you eaten? No. Do, do I buy you Chinese? Okay. Okay. Miss Potter, would you? What's your balance? I'll go back. You know, I went to work now, and when Auntie Neka came, she only met my wife in the house. I just said the message now, and I said to rush down. Collins, ever since you and Susan got married and left this house, you did not even give it fit to come back and check me. If I had died, you would have come into the house and seen people mourning me. Collins, do you know how much I sacrifice for you, do you? I'll tell you. Collins, I sacrificed my love for you. I sacrificed my relationship, my marriage. Collins, my money, my everything for you, my life, Collins, for you. And you did not even take it fit to come and check me once. Just once. 
family, it's not, family. It's, it's not like that. It's not like that. You know, family pressure. You know, I have to rush to work. Come back in the evening to take care of my wife and with her pregnancy and all that. I, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm a bit lonely. Colleen's boy. Have you been? What what happened? Who did this to you, sister? Where's the bastard? It's just a minor accident. Sister, you call this a minor accident? Eh? Collins, this is just a minor accident. Look, it's it's just a fracture. It's not as bad as you see it all. Uh I heard you're also pregnant. Is it true? Well, yes. And I'm also engaged. But sister, look at you, look at you, look at your face. Ah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Don't say it. Oh. Right. Ah. Dennis, call it. Oh, you guys know each other. Um, this is great. What are you doing here? Um, my... Oh, 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 oh. Dennis is my husband. Um, sweetheart, I'll, I'll leave this here. Um, I initially had other plans, but um, let me, let me, let me hurry up and discharge the taxi driver. I'll be back. No, come on, wait. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. What's the problem? What's going on here? What? Dennis! Oh. What is going on here? Will somebody tell me what is going on here, please? Excuse me, Collins. That is my husband. No, 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 sister. No, no, no. You don't know him. Sister, Dennis is the most irresponsible, consistent liar I have ever met in my entire life. We were classmates in university before he was frustrated in our second year for courtism. Sister, I'm sure he does not even have any place to stay here in Lagos. Because last time I asked after him, he's either squatting from this friend's house to this friend's house. If everything you have said about Dennis is true, then so be it. Collins, I lost the opportunity of being in the arms of a man that loved me even more than he loved his life. But I lost them. I lost them because of you, Collins. I lost them because of my incomparable love for you and the family. I put you first in everything that evolves around my life. And I realized too late. That what I wanted is not what I needed.
Yes, I know you didn't know me. But that is why I'm here now. I overheard your conversation with him. Yes, he's correct. Collins, you knew me years ago. That was then. This man here now is refined. Look, I realized my mistakes earlier and I retraced my steps. Gift. I really love you. And before God and man, gift, I want to marry you. Please, please, do me the honor then, please marry me. Shades and colors, different strokes for different faults. Love comes in different shades and colors, different strokes for different faults. Like red rose flowers, the colors for true. Romance and love, and when the sky is dark and the blue, you're gonna rain, rain, rain. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? to be played right and baby if you really want you gotta try 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 do you feel it 